Hi guys, it's me Adam Garrett and welcome back to the channel where you can watch me make you some delicious food. Now on Saturday afternoon, I did a live stream. Hi guys. And it was very different to what I normally do. Normally I just sit in front of the camera and just waffle. But for those of you who weren't on the live stream, this is what we did. So the other day I got my Tesco Club Card vouchers, which equated to £7.50. So on the Saturday afternoon after work, I live streamed me going down to Tesco's and I got you guys to choose the ingredients for my next recipe. It went surprisingly well. Okay, I thought I was going to get kicked out of Tesco's. I thought this is going to end up being really scuffed, but actually it went really well. You guys chose some great ingredients, which I've got over there plus some other bits and pieces that I had laying about. And we've kind of gone down the sort of chicken stir fry route, which is gonna be fantastic. So that's what we're gonna to make today. Now I've adapted this from another recipe by the Dumpling Sisters. Um, I'll put a link up on the screen somewhere so you can watch that, because they use similar ingredients to what I've got. There are some things missing, but I can kind of switch those things out. So I kind of use that as inspiration. But before we crack on with this, I just wanna say a quick thank you to everybody that turned up to the live stream. It was such fun, I really enjoyed it, and I'm gonna do more of these, um, but really, honestly, it was such a laugh. Thank you for the donations, and thank you for picking out such good ingredients. I mean, we've got some nice stuff here that we're gonna make a really good chicken stir fry. I hope it might turn out to be trash, I don't know. Right, so let's crack on with it. I will put all the measurements down below in the description, as per usual, but the first thing I'm gonna do is prep the chicken thighs. Okay, so here we have the chicken thighs that you chose. Uh, there is just over a kilo here. I'm not gonna use all of that because that's far too much. I think probably maybe three, maybe four thighs will be enough. So what I'm gonna do, just whip these out of the packet. We'll take four out and we'll just see how we go. Now what I'm gonna do is take the skin off because I don't really need the skin for this kind of recipe, but I am gonna keep it because you can make rendered chicken fat which is great for kind of roasting potatoes and stuff like that. I'll do the rest of those in a second. And I'm just gonna take the bone out again because something with like a stir fry, you don't really wanna be chomping on bones and trying to nibble around that. You just kind of wanna get it in your face, don't you? So I'm gonna take the bone out. You've seen me do this before. And of course, guys, if you're making this yourself, you can buy boneless chicken thighs. And all I'm gonna do with these thighs is just cut them into strips like the Dumpling Sisters do. Kind of like that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack on with the rest of these thighs, take the skin off, take the bone out, slice them up. So once I've done that, I'll show you the next step. Right, so the chicken is nicely sliced up. I did end up using four thighs, which equates to around about 400 grams. Now what we're gonna do is just create a very simple marinade for the chicken thighs. I believe they call this velveting, but essentially what we're gonna do is just add a few ingredients to this, leave it to sort of sit and marinate for a bit whilst we chop up all the veg and everything else. So the first thing I'm going to add is some salt and I'm going to use about half a teaspoon half a teaspoon of sugar good old twist of the pepper mill next I'm going to add a teaspoon of corn flour I'm going to add that in whoops next I'm going to add a bit of soy sauce now again in the dumpling sisters version they use light soy sauce I haven't got any of that and of course with the recipe we've got to use what I've got so I'm gonna add some dark soy sauce, which is good quality stuff. I got this from a Chinese supermarket a while ago and it's really tasty. But with it being quite strong and salty, I'm just gonna use about half a teaspoon. And it goes. Next, I'm gonna add some water, a couple of tablespoons worth. And I'm just gonna mix all that in, just like that, so it's all nicely coated. And what I'm gonna do is leave that to sit for about 20 minutes, half hour, something like that, just while we get on and prep everything else. So here are the rest of the ingredients that you guys chose. I've got some red onion, I've got green pepper, I've got water chestnuts, bean sprouts, sweet corn, sugar snap peas. There were some tortilla chips, which we just kind of <laughs> added in at the end. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those, probably snack on them. And also the egg noodles. I've got some extra bits and pieces. I've got some garlic, I've also got some ginger there as well. And I'm only using those because I had them. If I didn't have it, it wouldn't be going in the stir fry, but it's just gonna add a nice flavor. So what I'm gonna do, you just kind of move everything away and we're going to chop up the onion and the pepper which I'm not going to use all of it but we'll see how we go. I think I'll probably end up using about half of that red onion. Slice the end off with my horrendously blunt knife for God's sake. Peel it, 
Guys, serious question, right, in the comments. I need to find a way to sharpen my knives at home that is quick and easy. Currently, the system I use is a Lanxi method, which uses a kit of various stones, and you have to grind a new edge on them each time. But although it works, the problem is, is it takes so much time to do. And, you know, I just don't really have the time to sort of do it. So I'm kind of looking for an easier way. And I've got kind of what well, I'll show you actually. I've got one of these flipping things, which are about as useful as a chocolate fire guard. And I have a steel, which does the job to a degree. But a steel is more about refining the edge and keeping it sharp rather than actually making it sharp. But if you can recommend something that will get an edge on my knives pretty quickly, I'd be most appreciative. Right, so I'm just going to get rid of this rubbish. And yes, I think about half of this red onion will be sufficient. I mean, it's not actually that blunt, it's not that bad, but it does need sharpening. I'm just going to slice this up, and get that onto a plate. It's a really good idea with stir fries to get all your veg prep done first, because stir fries come together really quickly. So if you're faffing about slicing up veg and all that, you know, it's going to be much more difficult. So get it all prepped first, which is why we're doing that now. Next, the green pepper. Cool, those onions are strong. Oh, my eyes! Uh, break off that top piece. I'm trying to pull the core out. Come on! Get rid of that. Get rid of most of the seeds. And again, I'm not going to use all of this. I'm just going to take off about half, I would say. Slice these up. It's going to be very healthy, this, isn't it? Ha ha! Next, some bean sprouts. And again, I don't think there's any real measurement for this, just a good sort of handful like that. Again, sugar snap peas. Again, just another handful, I'd say. Yeah, that'll be enough. I'm going to open the sweet corn. I'm just going to drain this off a second. Now, some of you suggested that I used fresh corn you know, little baby corn or something like that. But the problem with that was they were quite expensive. So we kind of had to substitute for canned corn, which I'm sure it's gonna be fine. And I've also got the water chestnuts here. Now I love these, they've got a really nice crisp texture. So I'm just gonna drain these off. And I reckon, again, probably another couple of tablespoons. And the good thing about stir fries is you can add what you like, you know? You don't have to stick to what I'm doing. You can put whatever you like. I think that's just gonna be enough. Let's move that plate to one side. Next thing we're going to do is chop the ginger, the garlic, and I've got a chilli as well, which I'm going to add to it. Right, so I've got a small piece of ginger here, a couple of cloves of garlic, and this ropey old chilli, which needs using up. That's why I'm going to put it in. Uh, it's not much good for anything else, but once it's finely chopped up, it'll be fine. So what I'm going to do is just run through this uh, garlic and the ginger and the chilli. It doesn't need to be like really finely diced, just nicely chopped up. And get that into our little bowl here. Next with the ginger that in there. Next with our ropey old chilli, top off, split it down the middle and again we're just going to finely chop that up as well. Okay, in with our ginger and garlic and I think guys that is all the prep done. I think the only thing we need to do before we start cooking is to soak the noodles. Right, so we're going to soak our noodles now. So we're going to get them out of this pack, which incidentally is just the right amount uh, that the uh, Dumpling Sisters used. It's 250 grams. It's the same egg noodles they used. What a coincidence. Good, isn't it? We're going to take all of these out, pop them into a bowl, and I'm going to pour over some boiling water and just soak them for a few minutes just until they kind of loosen up. Okay, you want them to break apart, but we're not going to fully cook them because they're going to finish off in the wok, in the wok? <laughs> they're going to finish off in the wok when we do the stir fry. So I'm just going to leave those for a minute or two just to do their thing. Right, okay, we are ready to rock and roll, guys. Now, as you can see, everything is just laid out and ready to go. It's gonna make life so much easier, honestly. So now that our chicken has sufficiently marinated, we need to get that nice and brown. Right, let's get this show on the road. Gonna get my wok onto a really high heat. You wanna get this nice and hot. Gonna add a 
couple of tablespoons of oil. Now once that's nice and hot, we're gonna add the chicken. Now I warn you, I think when I add this in, it's gonna make a hell of a noise, so cover your ears. Now what we want to do is get a really nice golden brown color on this. Now the Dumpling Sisters recipe, they added the garlic and the ginger to the pan first. I'm not gonna do that because I think it's gonna burn. So I'm gonna brown off the chicken, get it nice and colored, then add it. Right, so once you've started to get some color on the chicken, we're gonna go in with the ginger, the garlic and the chili. And just stir that through, just so that the garlic and the ginger start to smell really aromatic. Okay, next I'm gonna add some water. I would say about four tablespoons, five tablespoons. And that's gonna lift off some of that stuff that's all stuck to the bottom of the pan. And then what we're gonna do is just pop a lid on and I'm gonna let that cook away for a couple of minutes until the chicken is nice and cooked through. Okay, so after a couple of minutes, you can see it's nicely cooked. It's got that kind of glazed finish to it and that's gonna kind of help create a bit of a sauce. So I'm just gonna empty that into a bowl and I'm just gonna clean out this wok a bit, ready for the next step. Right, so I've cleaned the wok out. I'm just gonna add some more oil and get that nice and hot again. And once it gets hot, we're gonna add the onion, the peppers, the sugar snap peas, the bean sprout, get it all in there. I'm just gonna start this off for a couple of minutes just to get it going. Okay, next thing I'm going to add is some salt. You can be quite careful because there's salt, well, the soy sauce is quite salty, so about half a teaspoon. Some pepper, just a little bit. Some sugar, about a teaspoon, should be plenty. And also the sweet corn and the water chestnuts, we'll get those in as well. One thing I forgot to add is about a teaspoon of soy sauce, dark soy sauce. And again, just enough water, just to kind of steam the vegetables, and uh, I'd say about two tablespoons. And then we're gonna pop the lid on again, and we're gonna let those vegetables steam for about three, four minutes, just until they're tender. Right, okay, so after a few minutes, the veg is pretty much done. We're gonna add the chicken back in. I did add another small handful of bean sprouts because I like them and I wanted a few more. Next, we're gonna add the noodles. Now, what I've done, as you can see, I've drained them. They've just been sitting in a bowl. And I'm just gonna take some scissors and just cut them roughly, because uh, apparently that helps them kind of mix through. So, just chop them up a little bit, like that. I'm gonna whack those in. I'm gonna to switch to a pair of tongs because I think that's gonna help everything mix together. So keeping it on a high heat, just mix everything together. So that is done. Now what I'm gonna do is just serve this up and then we can tuck in. Right, here it is guys. Chopsticks at the ready. This is your stir fry. You chose the ingredients. Yes, I had a few bits that I added myself, but that's just because I had them. Let's give this puppy a try. A try and get a bit of everything. Nice big bite. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Well done guys. It just tastes so fresh. Really nice and healthy. It's tasty. Oh those oh, water chestnuts are amazing. That chicken is so juicy as well. And I think that's because of the velveting. You know when you add the corn flour and, and the water and everything it, it kind of tenderizes the chicken a bit more. But thigh is really forgiving anyway. Could probably have added a few more sort of veggies to it, some more sugar snap peas, because there's quite a lot of noodles there, but you know, it's good. Well, there we have it. That's the Tesco Club Card Chicken Stir Fry. That's made by you. Well, made by me, but kind of chosen by you. Now, if you enjoyed this, let me know, because it's something different and I've never done it before. You know, you guys get to get involved. We made something delicious. So if you want to see more of that kind of stuff, we'll do it. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please like it, please share it, comment as much as you can, because you know, I'm trying to reach 50,000 subscribers this year and in order for me to get that far, all those likes, all those shares, all those views all help towards that. But I shan't bore you any longer. I shall let you crack on. Enjoy your evening, afternoon or morning, wherever you are in the world. And as always, at the end of this, there'll be some links to some other videos and my face will be up there. If you click it, you can subscribe and I'll see your gorgeous faces in the next video and bye for now.